Android Authority, what is going on? My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and today we're taking a first look at the Droid Turbo. Almost five years to the date of the original Droid, Motorola and Verizon rekindles the flame with the Droid Turbo. The Turbo is running Android 4.4.4 KitKat, but will be on Android L in the near future. You can find the Turbo in three different colors. Metallic red, which is the flashiest of the bunch in my opinion. The black ballistic nylon, which is my review unit, and it's also a fan favorite due to the materials and a subtle red underline. Metallic black, which is the standard appearance and historically it shows the most fingerprints. The screen is 5.2 inches quad HD at 565 PPI with Corning Gorilla Glass 2. Inside you'll find the Snapdragon 805 and the Andrino 420 GPU. You also find NFC, Qi charging and also a water resistant coating. With a twist of the wrist, you are taken to the 21 megapixel camera at f2.0. 4K recording is on board as well. You simply tap on the screen and it focuses to take your shot. To do a burst fire, you press and hold on the screen as well. At first glance, the camera software is what you'll find on the Moto X, but during my review, I'll dig into it a little bit further. Some of the new software features includes the Moto Command Center, which is a widget on your home screen. At a glance, you can see your weather, time, and location. If you press on the edges, it expands out so you can see your dates, alarms, and also your option to view the weather by hour. Droid Zap is a multi-platform photo sharing application. This allows you to fling photos to anyone that uses the app. Yes, there's even an iOS version as well. It connects via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or even cellular data. You can also zap to TV on Chromecast or even zap your screen as a screenshot. The latest version of active notifications is on board and this version can actually show you more than one notification at a time. And also we have the Moto Assist. The Droid Turbo promises 48 hours of real world battery life. Also it's bundled in with the Turbo Charger, which is a 15 minute charge time from zero to 100%. This phone is for Verizon only. It can be found for $199 for 32 gigabytes and $249 for 64 gigabytes on contract. This phone feels pretty good and it looks good, but we'll see how it holds up over the next few days. Is this the phone you've been waiting for? Sound off down below and press subscribe while you're at it. And keep it locked to Android Authority for the full review in the next few days. This is Kevin the Tech Ninja reporting live from New York, and this is Android Authority, your source, for all things Android. Take care guys.